Well, I've got some breaking news for you guys. This is terrifying. Iran has just claimed credit for an attack on a U.S. base in Iraq. And this is, of course, a further escalation and retaliation to the assassination of Quds Force leader Qasem Soleimani. So we don't have a lot of details about this currently. This is a developing story. But for now, what we do know will be uh, given to us by this NBC News article by Courtney Cube and Doha Madini, who report an Iraqi military airbase housing U.S. troops in Iraq's Al-Anbar province was hit by more than a dozen ballistic missiles from Iran on Wednesday local time, according to the Pentagon. It is clear that these missiles were launched from Iran and targeted at least two military bases, hosting U.S. military and coalition personnel at al-Assad and Erbil, the Defense Department said in a statement. It is unclear whether there is any damage to the al-Assad airbase, which President Donald Trump visited last month, or whether there were any casualties. Iranian state TV described it as Tehran's revenge operation over the killing of top Iranian general Qasem Soleimani, According to the Associated Press, NBC News has not confirmed the report. The state TV report said the operation's name was Martyr Soleimani. It said Iran's Revolutionary Guards Aerospace Division that controls the country's missile program launched the attack. So that is all that we know at this point in time. Donald Trump's administration received intelligence that this attack was coming, so he already was briefed on this. Currently, Mike Pence is briefing United States Senators. And since Donald Trump had already threatened them in the event they responded to his initial escalation, we can now anticipate the United States to respond because this will be a situation where both countries likely go tit for tat until we escalate into a full out war. So it almost seems like the prospect of war with Iran is a foregone conclusion. And now the question is, how big will this be if it does in fact happen, which I hope it doesn't? How big will this be? Will this draw in China and Russia, other powers? I mean, at a time when we have 11 years to act on climate change, we have a focus on these two countries bickering with one another. And this was all instigated by Donald Trump. So I actually literally found out about this on a live stream with Lance from the Surfs. You can uh, follow them on Twitch TV and you can see my reaction as it happened. Um, and it's just, it's terrifying. Again, we don't know all of the details. The story is still a developing story, so there will be more information that is released. But this is certainly not good news. We can expect now Donald Trump to craft a response, militarily speaking, and we don't necessarily know how far this will go. So, you know, this is certainly unfortunate, but expected. I mean, when Donald Trump assassinated Qasem Soleimani, the expectation was that they would retaliate because there's public pressure for them to take action. And now they retaliated, and now the United States will respond again. And as I stated, we don't know how far this is going to go. But it's not going to end well, and I hope that there were no casualties, and I really hope that Donald Trump just leaves this there, doesn't respond, and now is the time to have the anti-war protests and take to the streets. Call your representative, call your U.S. senator, let them know that war with Iran is not acceptable, and we do not give the U.S. government authority to continue escalations. Donald Trump initiated this exchange, they responded, now let's call it done. That's that. But since Donald Trump is an egomaniac and a man baby, I don't suspect that that is going to be what will happen. Again, he already threatened them on Twitter with war crimes. He said he'd target um, cultural sites. He kind of walked away from that. We'll see. But if I had to take a guess, Donald Trump will most like, likely respond in some way. And this is just not going to be good. So I'll leave that there There, when I have more information. I will update you guys with that. Um, look for the pinned comment to this video. As we learn more, I will update that comment with more information. But certainly be vigilant and make your voice heard. War with Iran is not acceptable.